Hi there, my name is Eun Kim and in this video we'll go over December's Xenonauts 2 update post from the developers. We have three topics to go over. First is the current and ongoing open beta. The second is the public demo and finally the third is upcoming work for the current month January 2023. As everyone is aware, December is always an extremely slow month for everything because of the holiday season. Well, for this specific case of Xenonauts 2 development, it was not. It actually looks like it was the opposite with a lot of work being done. You don't need to take my word for it, you can just go to the forums and see the crazy amount of bugs reported. Now wait, I know you're immediately thinking, but if there's a huge amount of bugs, how can that even be good? Two things. First, there will always be bugs in software development whether you like it or not. And the game development is a part of it. Secondly, the sooner these bugs get reported, the faster the game can get to the hands of everyone and more importantly, with an overall quality that ensures it gets the best possible response from the players. Let me remind you again that all of this information is available on the developer post itself and you can find the links in the description below the video. Let's start talking about the ongoing open beta. With version 25 the game opened up for a small group of beta testers, the number indicated is 50 and the response to the current state of the game from their perspective, which is from a player that has not played the game until now, was pretty good. I quote, the response has been really good so far. Thankfully, the initial response to the game has been almost universally positive, i.e. nobody is saying that they didn't enjoy the game or that it felt too similar to Xenonauts 1 to be worth playing." End quote. As I was mentioning before, these players not only gave their first impressions and criticism but also reported a ton of bugs as you can see by the 3, 5, 10 or even more pages on the Goldog forums. I didn't count them exactly. The good news for you, who unfortunately might not have been selected for this wave of beta testing, is that another one will be happening soon. With every new Xenonauts 2 version build, between 50 to 100 new beta testers will be invited to participate and help shape the future of the game. Next up is the public demo. Xenonauts 2 will participate in the upcoming Steam Next Fest event, which runs from the 6th to the 13th of February and because of that, a new demo will be available that allows playing the first couple of months of the campaign. This is huge news since those who are craving to play for quite some time and did not have the luck of being selected for the open beta yet can play about 5 or 6 technical missions at the start of the campaign and get a much better feel of the overall state of the game until the game is finally released on early access. Last but not least, we also got some hints at what is the focus for upcoming development. Granted, most of the effort will be put into this new demo version but that's not all. The primary goal is to have the game tutorial implemented. On the post, and I quote, this is a 5 minute sequence that covers the plot events immediately before the start of the game, and introduces the player to the key controls for the geoscape and tactical combat, end quote. I said it before and will continue to defend that the nice tutorial should be always a priority, because it not only is one of the first interactions with the game a new player has, but it also has the critical role of teaching how to play it. This becomes even more important as time goes by for Xenonauts 2, when new demo versions and early access are starting to be discussed more and more. There is also a mention regarding the difficulty settings, that are going to be worked on and, of course, fixing all the reported bugs to make sure they aren't reproducible anymore on future versions. I'm planning to continue to cover these developer updates to Xenonauts 2, so if you're interested in following the development state or just want some news about it, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Thanks for watching, have a great day and I'll see you at the next one. Bye bye!